It's the 2014 IDBF World Cup. It's in Fuzhou, China. We're um, mid-morning. Um, we've still got a lot of racing to go today, and these are uh, repercharges. Next race, over to Murray Jones for the commentary. That's Hong Kong. That's, uh, that's Great Britain. <laughs> and between the two of them is Australia. There's Great Britain there now. Australia. And Hong Kong. We were just discussing how in Hong Kong that um, you need a national coach to go around and um, make sure that the style of paddling is the same everywhere. So that when they're um, putting a national team together, they, they, they've got a pretty good idea of what they're supposed to be doing when they get to the, uh, the national training. And we are preparing now for this race. This is the um, Repercharge 1. Great Britain on the far side, Australia in the middle, and Hong Kong, China on this side. That's the Great Britain crew. Getting a long stroke these days, longer than it used to be. Australia got an even longer stroke. And you can see that they're shifting a bit more water, and that's uh, having the right effect because uh, Australia now half a length ahead. Great Britain's second, and Three quarters of a length behind the leader is the Hong Kong boat. I don't know who, who's coaching the Hong Kong crew, but uh, they, they, they're not paddling the same rate that they do when they're in their um, local boats. Yeah, there they go. Murray, these Jamozes are in front again. Yeah, I know. Can we not get an anchor on the back of them? Uh, tie a bucket on and, and it's reminiscent of the Ashes, recent Ashes cricket series, I think, isn't it? <laughs> what, which one do you mean when Ian Botham won? <laughs> That's the one I can remember when he he beat them just him on his own. <laughs> <laughs> That's going back 30 years now. Now, I'm talking about the five nil whitewash led by Mitch Johnson and Michael Clark, but uh, now always good to see the green and gold getting up over the mother country. Well, I can't remember that, uh, Kel, but anyway, we'll, let's, we'll, we'll watch these uh, Aussies in front. Murray, uh, how's it looking? Yes, um, I'm tempted in that uh, little barrage to say that uh, Australia is the largest island in the New Zealand group. <laughs> Them are fighting words, Murray. <laughs> yeah, here we go now. Look at that. They're coming up towards the finish. You can hear them outside. Really tying hard. Uh, they're about... No, they're, they're about a length behind. Two minutes to they're, they're, they're going into the wind, so that's a relatively slow time for 500. 211, 215. I think at some world championships we had 154. Of course, it's a mixed, mixed crew, isn't it? So, uh, and then Hong Kong coming in now. Yeah, for mixed crew, that's, that's just a little slower. When you've got fair old, fair old wind, it's, it's really, looking at the flags outside, it's really quite, um, quite steady now. And then, uh, some of the shots from the race already. You can see that Australia, uh, Great Britain. You've really got to use that water when the paddle's in it use it use it super shots absolutely super shots um uh kel um I've, uh, for those who are just tuning in i've got the president of um uh, the australian drag about federation and we're just watching australia in one of the heats of the uh, 500 meters <laughs> have you been a competitor yourself haven't you yeah I, I have i've been very fortunate to represent australia a few times um still compete with my own club the ice dragons in canberra uh, and tell you, it is pretty icy down there at the moment. Uh, pretty tropical conditions here. There's several Canberrans, some very good friends, um, particularly young Thea, there she is in seat two on the right hand side. So uh, we left, it was about oh, somewhere between zero and minus two degrees and we've rocked up and it's you know, 30 to 35 and about 100% humidity. Thanks, we just got that result there. Australia, two minutes, 11.8. Great Britain, two minutes, 14.9. And Hong Kong, China, did you catch that time? I didn't, but um, it was very... 2.25. So, there's all the Chinese, all the locals. 
watching this glorious World Cup. A tremendous success. We haven't uh, even got to a day and a half in and a great success. But we already have the next, the next race, the next straight race, rep to 500 metres. We'll give you the runners and riders in a minute. We've got Guam in lane one, Czech Republic lane two, Russia in lane three and Italy in lane four. I mean, there is nothing like being a competitor. That, you know, it, it, you can't replace it. You know, anything not being a competitor, you never get the same adrenaline buzz. But as you progress in the years and you, you use all the experience that you've got to help the next generation move the sport on to the next level, yeah? Yep, yep. So I've just hit the, the big four zero and uh, still feel like a 25-year-old trapped in an old man's body. Um, and I don't mind. I thought you were 55. <laughs> it's, it's my Irish and uh, Scottish heritage, which has aged me badly in the Australian sun. Um, no, but I've got the child bride of only just 30, so I've done very well there. Um, uh, did she have glasses when she met you? Um, or, um, <laughs> she must be blind and deaf. Sorry, they say, they say this insults are a form of um, affection, so uh, welcome. We, we like having you in the studio. Please don't go away. Anyway, we're here for this next um, race. Murray? Yes. Guam up at the top and uh, Czech Republic, Russia and Italy. I Italy closest to us. Russia in the white tops there in the uh, second one up. Guam in dark blue and Czech Republic in the, the white and blue. Not quite as frenetic as the um, start of the Chinese people. But certainly we're getting a Czech Republic who were not that far behind in their race, but um, they're a little bit, uh, yes, a bit down on Russia at the moment. Russia in front of us. Yeah, really trying hard. Yep, we can see what the result's likely to be, but uh, who knows, the Czech Republic might well pull out a little bit at the end. You go through that coasting period in the middle. And then somebody will say 50 metres to go, give it everything. When you're in, in a boat like this, you feel your heart is exploding, your lungs virtually are collapsing, but in a bizarre way it's lovely <laughs> you love it you can't get enough of it but it's like hell hell on earth while you're in the middle of the race here yeah there's the yeah the um oh look at that 118 for the split point up to 129 yes so it's russia now are uh, i think they're doing fairly well there for a for a repechage they'll they'll get the next position There's Russia and the Czech Republic side by side. Uh, Russia just got a bit of a lead. They're winding it up now. Yeah. And so the crowd. <laughs> Ooh, that was a that was a derby match, wasn't it? The who got that one, Murray? Russia. And you know, people who are tuning in and seeing this and thinking, well, you know, look at Guam, they're miles behind. They're a developing nation, yeah? They are. They're uh, made up, there's plenty of locals. There's a couple of American expats out there with a big military presence as well. Um, but Guam, yeah, very much in that next tier of nations, but one to watch. They've not been competing at this top level for too long. Um, but to, to be in screenshot is a fair progression from where they were just a couple of seasons ago. Thanks. And there's the Italians. Uh, they're hosting uh, the next big tournament, the be next big championship in Ravenna in uh, September this year uh, for the World Club Crew Championships. They'll be uh, enjoying getting some practice in uh, as a country team. 